Hey, hello everybody. Today we are having another class of English at emelingo.com. My name is Oksana and we are going to take to talk about insider trading today. Let's make a pause and wait for all the students to come. So I'm waiting for you to join our discussion. Hi, hello, how are you? How was your day? Michael? Good evening. Good evening, Yuri. How are you? Uh, fine. Yes, there was no here because I have uh, this, the light is turned off. Excuse me? What? Oh. I there, didn't... There, is, there is no light yesterday. Oh, I see. So you don't have the and internet yeah. is not working. I understand. I understand. There was no light and uh, no electricity, yes. so it was impossible to join our discussion. Okay, so I'm sorry about it, but still, so happy that you're here today. Uh, Michael, hello. How are you? How was your day? I'm fine. You? Fine. Thank uh, you. <laughs> Whole yes, time. we've got we've got electricity today, and that's really good. So, uh, when there is no electricity, we can uh, really feel how good it is for us. <laughs> and uh, so, so let's hope that our difficult times will pass soon, and uh, we'll enjoy the better life sooner. So, uh, well. <coughs> Today we are going to talk about uh, trading inside of the company or inside trading. Yuri, do you know uh, the meaning of this word combination, insider trading? Uh, maybe it's about trading between companies. Yes, exactly. You're right. So today we are going to uh, discuss these aspects, the economic aspects of selling and buying uh, bonds and securities and all this stuff. Well, but before doing that, let's practice a little and have our conversation small talk practice. So here is the link for you to share our usual way we do. Please click on the link and open open it. Open. Good. Let's listen to the first dialogue. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. What can I help you with today? I have a problem. What is the problem? I wrote a check for $100 and it bounced. Do you have enough money in your account? I think so. Let me check that for you right now. Okay, thank you. Apparently there is only $57 left in your account. You can't be serious. That's what my records show. I see. Thanks for your help. Well done. Let's read the dialogue. Michael and Yuri, you're welcome. What can I help you with today? Uh, I have a problem. What is the problem? I wrote a check for one hundred uh, dollars, uh, and I, I it and it is gone. Do you have enough money in your account? I think so. Let me check that for you right now. Okay, thank you. Uh, apparently, there is only fifty-seven left in your account. You can be serious. That's what my records show. I see. Thank you for your help. Mm -hmm. Are there any unfamiliar words to you hear in this dialogue? Or do you know all the words? Mm, it's uh, bonds. I don't yes. remember. Yes, it was returned. So it returned. didn't work. You're yeah, right. So all the rest is familiar. In, in the meaning, uh, that is uh, cancelled, не uh, прошел. Uh, like, uh, yes, yes, yes. So it was refused. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Next dialogue. How may I help you? 
there's a problem with my check. What problem? My check for $100 bounced. Are you sure you have $100 in your checking account? I thought I did. I'll check for you. Thank you very much. It looks like you only have $57 left in your account. That can't be right. That's what my computer is showing. All right. Thank you very much. Let's practice this dialogue. Mm -hmm. And we've got one more student, Evgeny. Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. Good, where are you from? Is this the first class at emelinka.com? Uh, I'm from Zaporozhye. Zaporozhye, yes, okay. Good, and uh, is this the first class at emelinka.com? Uh, no, I... You already visited I... some? Oh. Mm -hmm. I understand, good, good. And another, one more. Uh, so, who is with us today, Boris or Mary? Do you hear me? Mary or Boris? You've got one account for two for both of you, so I don't know who is going to, to be present at today's class. Good. So, please say something for us to hear you. And uh, now we are having the practice of conversations. So please click on the link. This is for you, Evgeny. And open the file. Do you see the dialogues? Yes, okay. Dialogue number two. Did you hear it? Yes. Okay. So Yuri and uh, Evgeny, you're welcome to read the dialogue number two, the second dialogue. How may I help you? There is a problem with my check. What problem? My check for $100 pounds. Are you sure you have one... Uh, uh, $100? $100 in the checking account. Um, I, I thought I did. I thought I did. I, I thought. I thought I did. Yes, I'll please. check for you. And thank you very much. It looks like you only have $57 left in your account. That can be right. That's what my computer is showing. All right. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Good reading. Well done. Good of you. And uh, number three, dialogue. What can I do for you? I have a problem with this check. What's wrong? I wrote out a check for $100 and it bounced. Do you have enough money in your checking account? I believe so. Give me a moment and I'll check. All right, thanks. You only have $57 left in your checking account. That's impossible. I'm sorry, but that's what our records show. Okay, thanks. Have a nice day. Yes, well done. So, there are some sounds, but I don't know where are they coming from. What is it? I am yes. Breathing. I'm here. Yeah. Okay, Mary, how was your day? What did you I'm do today? Fine. Welcome to today's class. Thank you. How are you? Fine, thank you. A little bit tired, but still trying to work. <laughs> well, uh, so we. Mary, you you need to to uh, yes. What? You need to take your microphone far from your sound when you breathe. Uh, no, you hear me? Yes. Uh, I have not well microphone. Not very good one. Not, so now, yes. it is better. now it is good. Now it is okay. Good. Okay. Good. So the last dialogue, and uh, dialogue number three. <coughs> Mary and Eugenia, you are welcome to read. Uh, what can I do for you? I have a problem with this check. What's wrong? Uh, I wrote out a check for $100 uh, and it bounced it. Uh, do you have enough money in your checking account? I believe so. Give me a moment, I'll check. 
Uh, all right, thanks. Uh, you only have uh, 57 left in your checking account. That's impossible. I'm sorry, but this is what our record show. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. Olivia, thank you for your practice. Here is the link for you to open. Click on it, and this is the handout for today's class. So this is insider trading, and here we've got the questions. So, what do you know about these people or organizations? Uh, well, Mary, can you open the handout? No. No, you are just opening it, Evgeny. Have you opened it? Uh, yes, I opened. Good. Have you heard about these people and the organizations, for example, Charles Fogarty, Martha Stewart, Imclone, Texas Gulf Sulphur, U.S. Security and Exchange Commission? Have you heard about any of them? Do you know some? Uh, this may be uh, a, a bond, bond uh, obligation. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> Exactly, you're right. Maybe uh, Charles Fogarty is the director, is the name of the director of the company. Yes, okay. Today we are going to talk about these people, about this organization, mention them in our discussion. So we're going to uh, do it. This is what we are going to do. Do you want to own stock in any companies? Why or why not, Evgeny? Evgeny, do you hear? Yeah. I see it, but I didn't understand your question. Okay, so question number two, can you see it? Uh, Do you want to own stock in any companies? Why or why not? So what's Ukrainian for or Russian for stock? Zapat. No, stock is Akti. Okay, so would you like to have some? And which companies? I uh, I don't have any stock, mm -hmm. and I don't want. <laughs> and I don't don't want to buy them to have them. Mm -hmm. I you don't. What about you? Do you agree with Evgeny that it is no use to have some stock and to uh, to own it to buy them? Maybe Maybe. I agree. Maybe maybe. Okay, Michael, what do you think? Do you hear us, Michael? No, answer, Michael is busy, I guess. Okay, Mary, would you like to have some stock? Um, I don't know, actually, maybe. Maybe maybe, uh, maybe my father buy it for me. <laughs> but if you had to, yes, if you had to invest into some of the uh, companies, what companies would you choose to invest? So what uh, kind of companies do you think are I, good investments? I think in our country it's now it's good to invest to alternative energy or to build building road. Building roads. Yes. Now companies that uh, in, deal uh, with uh, building roads. Building yes. up roads. Oh, oh bowling club. What? Bowling club. Bowling club. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Mm -hmm. Or um, agronomic agriculture. Agriculture yes. sector. Agriculture sector. What do you think, Evgeny? What's your point of view? Do you agree with Yuri and um, Mary? So, if you had a chance to invest, what companies would you like to choose? I think I invest in bank companies. In a bank. Yeah. Right. Okay. Good. Thank you. Question number four. <coughs> Mary. Um, four. Mm -hmm. uh, question. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind? Uh, what kind of what, uh, what kind of company do you think are poor investment? Uh, can you name uh, Can you name any companies that you would not invest in? In because the stock uh, price will go down. down. Oh, maybe 
uh, in our country it's uh, computer technology because we don't have progress in this uh, yeah. direct direction in this direction. direction. Okay, uh, Yuri, do you agree with Mary? What do you think? Maybe different medicine companies. Medical companies. So you don't think that it is a good kind of investment uh, into medical companies? Am I right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, Yevgeny, do you agree with Yuri? Mm. Uh, I. I think our medicine is not very high, have a very high level. level. I understand. Okay. Question number five. If you were a business owner, would you want to be publicly owned? In other, want, in other words, would you want stock in your company to, to be bought and sold? Or would you remain privately owned? Discuss the pros and cons of both types of companies. You do you understand the question? As I approach it. Yes. So, what does it mean to be publicly owned or privately owned? Yes. Uh, there are different types of businesses, right? Uh, there are different um, yes, companies. One of them are publicly owned, the other privately owned. Public Yes, you're right. So, what uh, ownership is better one? What would you like more? Private owned. Privately owned. So, what are the advantages of privately owned uh, companies? Only you know how to do in this company. Only you have an information. Mm -hmm. Okay. Evgeny, do you agree with Yuri that um, private companies are much better than public ones? Yes, I think I agree with him. With him. Okay. Mary, what would you choose? What do you prefer? Uh, I think private owned uh, better, but in our country it's uh, not possible. So public owned better <laughs> in our country. And what about uh, European Union and the United States of America? It's what private, private, private companies. Private private companies, yes. Are better to develop there to develop there. Okay. Uh, next page. And here we've got the text. Page three. Have you found it? Yes. Inside the trading and definition and discussion. So let's read it. Uh, Mary, you're welcome. Uh, inside the trading has a negative uh, Connotation. Uh, connotation. Even souls. And so. Even souls. Souls. So. 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 Even so, mm -hmm. is uh, isn't always done illegally. Uh, insider insider trading aux, uh, okay. occurs when uh, corporate insiders trade their uh, company stock company. or. Mm -hmm. Companies' stock or uh, securities. An insider is uh, someone who uh, plays an important role uh, in the company. Com corporation. Corporation. Uh, certain uh, em employers. Employees. Employees. employees uh, offices. Offices, directors, or uh, stockholders uh, who already hold a, a certain, certain, uh, certain, certain uh, percentage percentage of the uh, company shares. Most of the time, their their trades are legal. When they trade uh, in their own uh, securities, they must report their uh, trades uh, to the U.S. Uh, security, securities and exchange uh, com commission. Uh, however, when an insider trades uh, based, based on uh, information uh, that has not been made public and uh, is uh, obtained from the insider's everyday role at, uh, at the company, it becomes illegal. Uh, insiders are prohibited Prohibited. Uh, prohibited. 
prohibited by their uh, fiduciary, fiduciary uh, duties uh, to buy or sell a security bus based on the uh, insider inf insider information information uh, it is also illegal for an uh, insider to share uh, this information uh, with someone else and uh, tip it tipping or uh, action acting acting on a trip tip. is tip is illegal. Illegal. Okay. So, what is insider trading, uh, Mary? Can you give the definition of this term? Oh, I, I actually, it's difficult. Little difficult. Mm -hmm. So it is the second sen sentence in the, this paragraph. So inside the trading, insiders can incorporate insiders, trade the company stock or securities. Or securities. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean, company stock? Uh, yeah, it's uh, o obligation company, yes? Obligations of the company and securities? Uh, securities. Ценные бумаги. Securities, right? Yes. Okay. Good. Uh, paragraph number two. Yuri, you're welcome. Uh, the the, secu uh, the security exchange commission has brought several insider trading cases. Those cases are against insiders and others who trade after they gain the knowledge or certain business developments that might affect the stock prices. The Security Exchange Commission has also brought cases against friends and relatives of the insiders who traded based on risks of the information from an insider legal banking and printing company employees who received information to perform services to the corporation whose stocks they traded, government employees who gained information based on their employers or other people who misappropriated and profited from conditional Confidential information. Confidential information. information. Mm -hmm. So what kind of information is confidential one? Do you know? Uh, confidential who this information knows only one person. Yes, secret information, right? Do you agree? Yes. Okay. Good. Evgenia, you're welcome to read the next paragraph. Inside your trading is uh, Serious, serious, serious. Uh, because it is uh, not fair. Uh, people cannot the in integrity of uh, investing, and they start to worry that investing is not safe. All neutral, many, also, also. although many mm -hmm. countries have uh, laws forbidding insider trading. It is the United States and the, um, the United Kingdom and Canada that have uh, the strictest, strictest law uh, and uh, punishment. Mm -hmm. The SEC uh, has made, made enforcing insider trading a priority. Stiff criminal penalties, penalties or less big to civil penalties. Penalties? Penalties? Penalties can be decided in the event of the event, event that, that uh, an insider trading case is brought. It can be difficult to prove uh, because there often is not uh, ev evidence. evidence such that is found in other criminal cases. While cases such as murder, murder? Might have some sort of, of physical evidence, evidence, evidence uh, that uh, directly directly links uh, the accused uh, to the crime. To the crime, mm -hmm. most of the evidence uh, in mm -hmm. in insider trading cases is circumstantial. Circumstantial. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Hence, uh, inside the trading cases can be easy uh, to prove science since they only require good 
be shown be shown by most of the evidence uh, and not beyond a reason reasonable reasonable doubt uh, as in criminal case therefore in the united states uh, inside the trading can be punished with monetary fines that must be paid or by in, in imprisonment imprisonment that must serve depending on the type of case the case Yes, okay. So, how is insider trading punished all over the world, especially in the United States, Yuri? Do you remember from the text? With monetary fines that must be paid. Yes, or imprisonment or that must be served. Or imprisonment that must be served, depending on the type of case. Yes, exactly. You're right. Thank you. Michael, um, could you read the next paragraph for us? Next paragraph, it uh, starts with, with many... With many mergers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, with many mergers taking place, the risk of insider trading increases. Uh, several cases in the, in the 1980s very important to uh, the legal history of insider trading. In one case, a print, uh, printer was brought, what? brought uh, to trial a queue of information that known uh, to the public. Uh, he learned to, uh, he had uh, been hired to print the materials for a company who was buying another comp company. Uh, he bought stock uh, in the company that was buying the other. Uh, the case went uh, through several seizures of in um, the late 1980s involved a writer was a Wall Street Journal. His stories were, uh, were yeah, consi considered uh, influential, mm -hmm. con very influential, uh, and uh, his column could uh, affect, affect um, the stock, stock prices about his subject. Yeah. Uh, accused uh, of tipping information and then uh, sharing uh, in the profits from his tips. Uh, this case was a plea uh, appeal, appeal it, uh, later in uh, the city from Kurt uh, read that the writer engaged in, in fraud. In fraud. Yes, thank you. Well done. Mary, you're welcome to the last paragraph. Uh, since, insider, since. since insider trading is not just in the uh, United States, issue and uh, companies, are, Com companies are publicly, public, uh, public, publicly, publicly, publicly traded uh, in the uh, other countries around the world. More uh, nations are uh, involved in prosecuting prosecuting cases. Mm -hmm. Case. Cases. Cases. The United States has entered into uh, several uh, treaties, treaties uh, with uh, countries such as uh, Switzerland, mm -hmm. uh, Turkey, Canada, and Canada. Italy, among, us. Uh, among uh, other. Uh, those uh, trade uh, treaty treaties mm -hmm. treaties are, are called uh, mutual mutual legal assistance treaties. Mutual legal assistance mutual legal assistance treaties. Mutual legal assistance mutual legal assistance treaties and allow countries to help each other uh, locate uh, witness, witnesses, witnesses uh, obtain uh, statements, statements and 
find business uh, records. Uh, per, per, perhaps uh, if uh, everyone works together, the world, uh, the world of uh, investing uh, will remain uh, fair, safe, and keep its uh, in, uh, in integrity. integrity intact. Intact, yes, okay. So, a little bit difficult text for you to read, but still, what did you understand from the text, Yuri? Uh, we understand the meaning of insider trading. That insider trading occurs when corporate insider trades the company stock or security. Exactly. And the meaning, and the mean, the meaning of insider who plays an important role in the corporation. Yeah, right. Thank you. So, what are two types of evidence are there in an insider trading case? Define each based on the information in the main reading. So, Mary? Uh, about evidence. Two types of evidence. What mm -hmm. two types of evidence are there in an insider trading case? Define each based on the information in the main reading. Uh, uh, while cases such as um, not <laughs> direct links the accused to, to We've got the two of them actually circumstantial evidence and uh, the second is for example guilt right yes okay the next one <coughs> Uh, we've got to match the vocabulary uh, left side column and right side column. We've got the word stock, securities, employees, officers, directors, stockholders, shares, uh, fiduciary, misappropriate, and invest. Let's find the definition for all of them. Okay, so what is stock? Yuri, you're welcome. Stock as uh, this is. Um Akte, yes, a portion of a company, a portion of a company, right? It is yes, I. It's okay. I. I good. Securities, Evgeny, you're welcome. Securities. The second. Um, securities uh, to put money into a company. Yes, it is actually stocks or bonds. Proving ownership in a company. So the securities. So next one, employees. Michael, who are the employees? Number three. Employees. Employees. People. Maybe. Uh, one second. It's um, position. Uh, Maybe it's uh, those holding position or authority at, at a company. Are you sure? Not employers, but employees. I think B. B. Those who work at a company. You're right. Mm -hmm. Offici okay. Officers. Number four, officers. Mary? Uh, officers. Uh, I think it's who uh, protect company, but I, I don't. Officers, it's like police officers, or not? So those holding power to give direction to a company. So chief executive officers, those holding power to give direction to a company. So managing directors or officers. Right? Oh, yeah. okay. Directors, number five. Yuri, you're welcome. Number five, directors. Uh, directors. Uh It's uh, those holding power to give direction to a company. Holding positions of authority at a company. E. E. Yes, you're right. Directors. Stockholders. Next one, uh, Evgeny. Stockholders. Who are the stockholders? Number six. Uh, those owning uh, stock in, com in a company. Exactly. Shares, Mary. Uh, shares each number seven mm. shares to put money into a company to put money here share it's a noun it, it is a noun so equal portions of a company shares it's also 
a kind of uh, stocks, but a little bit different shares, Akci. Uh, next one, Yuri. Yes. Eight. Held in trust at a company. Held in trust at a company. Yes. Next one, Michael. Misappropriate. What kind of word is it? Misappropriate. So we've got appropriate and misappropriate, right? It is nine. Do you know the word appropriate, Michael? And it is the opposite of this, misappropriate. Misappropriate. Mm -hmm. It is to use in the wrong way, misappropriate. Mm. Okay. Uh, and invest, Mary? Too much money into a company. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good of you. Well done. And now I'd like you to make up the dialects of your own. So you have to uh, think about building a new business in Ukraine. So uh, Yuri, you have to ask Evgeny about uh, what he's going to uh, start in Ukraine. And Evgeny is going to answer uh, about his plans, what he's going to, uh, to do, and so on and so forth. Good. Yuri, you're welcome to start. Hello, Guinea. I know you want to be, to start a new business in Ukraine. Yes, I do. What kind of business it will be? Uh, I will start an IT business company. Okay. What will you do to start your business? Uh, I will and develop and mobile applications. Okay. Now Evgeny is asking Yuri back, so about his business. Uh, mm. uh, hello Yuri, what uh, has, uh, do you plan to uh, start in Ukraine? I want to make uh, different um, I want to make bowling club and uh, bassoon. Swimming pool. And swimming pool and in swimming. my city and bowling clubs in other cities. Yes. Good of you. Thank you. Well done. Mary, so if you had a chance to uh, build at the start the business of your own in Ukraine, what sort of business would you like to start? Uh, I think I start business. Uh, I I open plan to produce wind generator. Wind generator. Yes. Uh, environmentally friendly uh, sources of energy. Uh, you think they are going to be very popular in the nearest future? Uh, no, it's not popular. Uh, pop popular, but in future, I think it's very. Uh, good because oil um, can to finish. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So I have I know one person in my city who have own wine, yes. mm -hmm. his own wine. Mm -hmm. A construction. Construction. Yeah, construction. Yes. So I think in future they are going to be more and more popular because uh, people are trying to find different sources of energy, not uh, the usual ones, not the ones that uh, we've got uh, already, but uh, another. I think uh, there are different types of energy, but it costs a lot, and Ukrainians not, not, not all use this kind of energy. Yes, yes, exactly. You're right. Good. And now uh, we are going to read some more material. We've got reading E. It is page 5. We are, we are uh, going to read about famous people, so uh, their names and find out about their um, legends in history. So what did they do and uh, what were their stories? Let's read about them. This is page 5. Reading E. 
Have you found it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mary, you're welcome to start. The history of insider trading extended uh, four years. In 1963 and 1964, a man named Charles, Charles Fogarty, Fogarty uh, Porsche, Porsche, purchased, purchased uh, Texas Gulf uh, Sulfur uh, shares. Uh, forget, forget, forget. What is it, Fogarty? It is surname. Surname. Oh yes. Charles yes. Name Fogarty is surname. Fogarty uh, was an insider. Uh, Fogarty was an insider. He was an uh, executive, executive uh, vice president, vice president of uh, Texas uh, Gulf okay. and. He had uh, the insight, uh, knowledge, uh, knowledge, uh, knowledge, knowledge, a, knowledge, knowledge that his company was uh, about uh, to become even more, even, uh, even more, even, even more, even more uh, uh, lucrative. 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 What does this word mean? Lucrative. We have already come across this word. Lucrative. Do you know the meaning of this word? Business. Lucrative, it's the. Tribal name. Uh, yes, profitable. You're right. Profitable. Profitable. Okay, thank you. Well done. Evgeny, you're welcome to go on. He learned. He learned of some confidential information mm -hmm. that, that would not be made public until after the company completed the legal rights necessary. While the legalities. Legalities? Legalities were in process for budgeting purchased over 3,000 shares of the house house and made a lot of extra money. This transaction was considered unfair because other people did not have the same privy information. Did forget it win while other traders who didn't uh, have the, the information rules. Thank you. Well done, Yuri. You're welcome. Was the case? The case did eventually to go go to court in 1966, and the case was a tech, Texas Gulf Sulphur Company. Uh, did forget to have an unfair advantage since he had prior knowledge. In this case, the federal court said that a person who obtains information has two choices. That person can disclose the information of that person, can refrain from handling and trading transactions. Since that time, many cases have traveled through the American court system and the laws have evolved. Other cases include the United States, uh, Virtual Capita and the United States Virtual Hagen. Yes, thank you. Well done. Good reading. Thank you. And, uh, now, uh, reading B uh, about Martha Stewart. Let's read about her. Mary, you're welcome. Uh, Martha Stewart is a famous American who is famous for uh, home homemaking. She was writing books uh, on cooking and wedding planning. She is uh, also the edi editor editor, editor? Uh, of the magazine Martha Stewart Living that uh, at one time had a, a circul circulation of millions of uh, copies per use. Issue. Per yes. Issue. Yes. Per issue. Uh, her empire grew, and Martha Stewart living uh, omni omni media omni, omni media, media. Uh, eventually went public. Uh, eventually. Eventually went public, so people could buy shares. Those who follow the stock market uh, could uh, trade the company uh, on the New York Stock uh, Exchange. Yes, thank you. Well done. Uh, Evgeny, you're welcome. The sticker symbol was MSO. Uh, state still uh, maintained a majority of the shares. Uh, this fame isn't uh, Stewart's only association. As, as, Association. Association. 
association with the stock market. Stewart also owns stock a company called uh, Incol, which develops medicine for oncology. Yes, thank you. Yuri, you're welcome. In 2001, she has received notice from her broker's company that sale of Mclone was going to sell his shares before what was likely to be a negative food and drug administration FDA ruling. Stewart sold her shares and was subsequently cured of insider training when she avoided losing a lot of money by selling her stock of Mclone just one day before the value fell. Stewart went to trial and was found guilty. She was sentenced to serve five months in a federal prison and a two-year supervised release program that included five months of being con confined Find. to her home. In addition to the imprisonment, Stuart was ordered to pay a large fine. Today she is back and it is very involved in her business. Yes, thank you. So what have you learned about Martha Stewart? Who is she? She is a famous American Pukong. Yes, and she why is she in prison? She has written books on cooking and wedding planning. Yeah, right. Why was she sent to prison? Why did she have to pay a fine, a large fine? What did she do? She has a company develops methods for oncology. Yes. And she shared before a negative food and drug administration ruling. Exactly. Why she was accused? What was she was accused of? Do you remember? Mary? No, we don't understand. <laughs> yes, she was accused of insider trading according to the text. Have you found it? Um, she had received notice from the Brooks company. Yes? Was the seller of Amclone was going to sell his shares before what was likely to be a negative food and drug essay. About yes, it. you're right. Good of you. Good. Thank you. Num uh, page number eight, and here we've got the vocabulary from these texts, these two texts, just the words closest in the meaning to the vocabulary used in the uh, readings. So, bankruptcy. Uh, this is the word from the reading. So, bankrupt, profitable, poor, or mid range. So, what is it? What is profitable? profitable. Okay. Uh, the next one, Yuri. Private. Yes. Uh, mm, private. Okay. Next one. Uh, disclose. Disclose. Uh, Dis lock up. Mm -hmm. Tell. Keep secret. Lock up. Lock, lock up. up. Thank you. Refrain form. Evgeny, it is for you. Refrain uh, form. Um, Refrain um, form. Oh. Keep from. Keep from. Yes, you're right. Trading. Number Buy, one. sell, or exchange. Okay. Transactions. Uh, mm. Transactions. Like Re negotiations. Transactions. Not. It's not. Uh, it's. Uh, some, I understand this uh, word, but I can find synonym. 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 Dealings. 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 Oh, Dealings. yes, of course. <laughs> Next one, uh, Empire. Evgeny? Comp a company with a lot of people, a home with a lot of rooms, a company with a lot of holdings, a university with lots of teachers. A company with a lot of holdings. A country with a lot of people. Number seven. It's A. So it is C, a company with a lot of holdings, actually. See. So, uh, Evgeny, you are right, okay. Gov Public. Mary, you are welcome. A company remains private, a company doesn't sell shares, a company has only directors and offices, a company allows people to buy shares. What do you think is the correct variant? Maybe it's D. Okay. Company allows people to buy shares. Yes, exactly, you're right. 
Good of you. Well done. So, for you to remember today's vocabulary better, I'd like you to make up sentences of your own with these words. So, the first one uh, is lucrative. Mary, make up the sentence of your own with, with this word. So, it is probably uh, lucrative. Okay. Lucrative business. Uh, the company in this company in uh, last year was lucrative. Okay, good of you. Well done. Thank you. Uh, Yuri, can you make up the sentence of your own with the word lucrative? I'm thinking. Thinking, okay. Yuri, uh, um, This company will be private uh, in the next year. Private. Okay, uh, okay, good. Next one, disclose. <coughs> Mary, you're welcome. Uh, disclose. Um, maybe uh, many of plan plans uh, disclose. Uh, как в связи сказать? In the connection with. Ah, uh, in the connection with quizzes. Quizzes. Okay. Good refrain form, Yuri. Companies uh, disclose the compensation of their top executives. Okay, good. Next one, uh, Evgeny, you're welcome. Trading, trading. Mm. Company uh, now trading uh, its. Uh, Stock. It's okay. stock. But the word order. The company is trading its stock now. Or now the company is trading its stock. These variants are correct. Good. Next word is transactions. Mary? Is it, is the transaction well done? The trans transaction was well done. Ah, or was is well, well done. done. Or is well okay. done. A lot of people use transactions to have money, to get money. Okay, a lot of people make transactions to get money. In this case, it would be more appropriate, right? Yes. Empire, Evgeny, you're welcome. Empire, a company that holds the, that um, has lots of holdings. Empire. A company will be an empire uh, over 10 years. Yes, you're right. Go public. Yuri, your sentence. Go public. This new, this new company become public. Becomes or will become. Will this become. Or is going to become. Public. Okay. You will. And now I'd like you to remember all the words that you've learned in today's class, all the vocabulary. Look through the text and uh, try to remember. Uh, Mary, so what is stock? Stock, uh, it's application. Uh, okay, securities, Yuri? Yes. Securities? Yes. Okay, employees. Who are the employees, Evgeny? Uh, people who work in the company. Yes, and who is the employer, Mary? Uh, it's uh, some person who give people work. Okay, yes. Uh, who are the directors, Yuri? Directors, it's the, owner, the owners of company. Owners? Not even the owners. Sometimes they can be both owners and managers of the company, right? And sometimes yeah. only the managers. Good. Shares. What does it mean? A share, Mary? Share. Uh, shares. It's a uh, uh, Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. To misappropriate. It's opposite appropriate. <laughs> Yes, and as a, verb, wrong. as a verb, it is to use in the wrong way, misappropriate, yes. as a verb, right? To invest, Evgeny, what is the meaning of this word? Put uh, my money to the company. 
Yes, good of you. Mm -hmm. uh, so what business is called lucrative? Yuri? What kind of business is lucrative? Do you remember? What is lucrative business? Which gets a lot of money. Yes, you're right. Profitable business which brings lots of money. So what is the disclosure? Mary? Uh, it's uh, something clo uh, uh, lock up. Lock that locks up. That locks up. Up, yes. Okay. So trading. What is trading, Evgeny? In the process. Process of buying and selling things, right? Oh, uh, uh, we can say the trading finish for the trading at the trading тоже. The trading was over. Oh, or, okay. In, in this case, the trades, the trades were over. Oh, yeah. uh, or the trading was over. The trades were over. Yes. Okay. Transactions. You. You're welcome. Transactions, Yuri. Does this word mean transactions? Transactions is dealings, right? Dealings. dealings. Okay. Uh, what is an empire, Evgeny? Do you remember? It's a big company. Big company, yes. With lots of holdings. You're right. Go public. What does it mean to go public? Mary? Uh, it's uh, to open for society. Yes, you're right. Uh, good of you. Well, today we've had a class devoted to economical issues, so it was a specialized one. Nevertheless, it was a little bit difficult for you to read and to understand the text. I hope that you have learned some vocabulary that is new for you. And uh, thank you for coming and joining the discussion. And maybe next classes we'll have some more interesting classes with you. So please uh, join us. And uh, are there any questions to ask? No. If no questions, then see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you. Goodbye.